let's do some sun salutations. We'll do the second version of sun salutations today, known as Surya Namaskar B. This takes what we've learned in Surya Namaskar A and builds upon it to help us build strength and build some heat in the body. Now, this sequence can be much more challenging on your breath than Surya Namaskar A, so I want you to just do your best, keep breathing freely throughout the sequence, and if you need a rest, you can always take it. Now, this starts with Utkatasana, so bring your hands to your sides, exhale all your air, and inhale, bend your knees, and reach straight up. Now, we're gonna stay here for this first one. See if you can bring your hands together so they touch. If you need to interlace your last three fingers to bring your hands together and keep them there, then go ahead and do that. Make sure you bring your head back out of the way of your arms and look up at your hands. Reach up through your elbows, and if this bothers your lower back, just back off the bend of your knees and reach up more. Now again, inhale here, reach up as high as you can, and then exhale, bring your chest to your thighs, and then straighten your legs and fold in. Now here in the forward fold, if you need to bend your knees to reach the floor, that's okay. We're not going to stay here too long. If you prefer to straighten your legs and bring your hands to your shins, if that feels better on your lower back, then go ahead and do that. But wherever you are, let your head hang. Let your neck be soft and fold in as much as you can. Now inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. Now keep that length as you bend your knees, plant your hands on the floor, step back and lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana, look forward. Now everybody come to the floor here. Let's build the architecture of this pose. I want you to walk your hands back until your wrists are under your elbows. It should be by your lower set of ribs. Now squeeze your elbows in, lift your chest up so your shoulders are no lower than your elbows. And now if you can, see if you can press up to hover. Now inhale, roll forward and up to upward facing dog. Stay here for a moment, lift your chest. If it bothers your neck to look up, don't do it. But if you can, look up and press the tops of your feet, stretch your legs. Now exhale back to downward facing dog. Now just look up at your hands here. Inhale, step your right foot forward, plant your back heel on the ground and inhale, rise up for warrior one, Virabhadrasana A. We're gonna stay here, keep breathing. Press down through both feet, stretch your back leg, bend your front knee, drop your tailbone, draw your lower belly back and up. And then exhale, bring your hands to the floor, lift your back heel, step back and lower down, look forward. Inhale, roll up to upward dog. And then exhale, back to downward dog. Now on your next inhalation, I want you to step your left foot forward in between your hands, plant your back heel, bend your front knee and rise all the way up to warrior one again, Vita Bhadrasana A. Now plant the back heel down firmly, really press down through the outer edge of your back foot here. Drop your tailbone and draw your frontal hip bones back and up. Reach up through your elbows and look up. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor, lift your back heel, step back and lower down with strong legs, look forward. Inhale, stretch your legs as you roll forward and up and exhale back to downward dog. Now as you come through to downward dog, just check your hands, bring them to the width of your shoulders, bring your middle fingers to point straight ahead, and then drop your head and look at your feet. Bring your feet to about the width of your hips, so the outer edges of your feet are in line with the outer edges of your hips. Inhale, stretch your arms long, and exhale, work your legs. You can lift your toes here and lift your kneecaps to make your legs strong. And then look up at your hands and as you inhale, step or walk your feet up to meet your hands. Look up, exhale, fold in, bring your forehead towards your shins. Now bend your knees and inhale, reach up to Utkatasana again. This is fierce pose. Look up. Exhale all the way to standing and bring your hands to your sides. Let's do that again. Thank you.